Ian Strauss. Any American who believes and understands how freedom works, I'm talking to him. Strict constitutionalist Ron Paul and his bid for the presidency. He's a Texas congressman and a country doctor. In 1988, he was the libertarian candidate for president. Today, Ron Paul is running for the 2008 Republican nomination. He's rising in the polls, boosted by unprecedented online fundraising. Outlook's Richard Ager continues our 2008 candidate profile series with a look at Ron Paul. One of the first things you notice about the Ron Paul campaign is its supporters. Many wear a campaign shirt bearing the question they're just waiting to answer. The answer is Ron Paul stands for freedom. Ron Paul uh, is, represents our best chance, our last best chance to uh, experience freedom in our time. Paul's supporters tend to be fervent, strong in their expression of approval, as though there's nowhere else to throw their support or build their hopes. I think he's the only hope America has to be a successful country. Who is Ron Paul? Uh, it's probably not the easy to answer in one sentence, but I'm somebody that's very concerned about our country, and I got involved in politics many years ago. I've been in Congress for 10 terms, and now I'm running for the presidency in the Republican primary. How are you doing? Hi, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. During his entire political career, Ron Paul has held to a strict reading of the Constitution, voting against many federal programs he considers unconstitutional, including Medicare and Medicaid. When you look at your positions, you oppose the Patriot Act, you uh, want to abolish the income tax, uh, you want to end the war on drugs. I'm wondering, who are you speaking to when you say those things for support? Who, are you, who do you think you're addressing? Any American who believes and understands how freedom works, I'm talking to them, and they're listening, and they're rallying. I never believed there would be so many. <laughs> I've never been in the Tonight Show, never was interested. This guy is worth it, worth standing in line. True American hero, Ron Paul. God bless him. Thanks to his supporters, the Ron Paul channel now ranks as the 40th ever most popular viewing spot on YouTube. And they put their money where their mouths are. On November 5th, they raised more than $4 million online in a single day. A record. I'm pretty surprised it's gone that far and, and, and that fast. And, you know, to get 20,000 new donors and supporters in one day is, is, is pretty good. I've tried this over 30 years and nothing. I couldn't do that in a so, year. So why this time? Why now? I mean, because you have been in this game for quite a while. Well, I've, uh, it's, uh, it must be that the American people are fed up. And what I'm saying is uh, touching a nerve with them. And they say, you know, it makes, makes good sense. It's time that we think seriously about bringing our troops home. The rawest nerve is the war in Iraq. The American people didn't go in. A few people had, had advising this administration, a small number of people called the neoconservatives hijacked our foreign policy. They're responsible, not the American people. They're not responsible. We shouldn't punish them. Congressman, we are one nation. We can't be divided. We have to be one nation under God. That means if we make a mistake, we make it as a single country, the United States of America, no. not the divided States of America. When we make a mistake, when we make a mistake, it is the obligation of the people through their representatives to correct the mistake, not to continue the mistake. And that's what we do on the floor of the No, we've dug a hole for ourselves and we've dug a hole for our party. We're losing elections and we're going down next year if we don't change it. And it has all to do with foreign policy and we have to wake up to this fact. Even if we lose elections, we should not lose our honor and that is more important we're than losing, the Republican Party. We've lost over... We have lost lost over 5,000 Americans over there in Afghanistan, in Iraq, and, and plus the civilians killed. How many more do you want to lose? How long are you going to be there? How long? What do we have to pay to save face? That's all we're doing is saving face. It's time we came home. Gentlemen, thank you. How do you feel, you know, standing up on the stage, taking this really singular position that is not shared by any of the other candidates? Well, it, it doesn't bother me that much. It bothers me that the Republican Party has drifted so far from their basic beliefs. And I, I'm very confident that I'm talking Republican talk, that uh, this is what Republicans talk about, limited government, balanced budgets. And we always took this position on foreign policy in the past, not always, but basically. And we benefited tremendously by being a non-interventionist foreign policy. George Bush won 
his election on arguing in my case for foreign policy, a humble foreign policy, no nation building. Paul says by ignoring the Constitution and its limits on big government, Republicans as well as Democrats have subverted the public good, and the public is starting to realize it. And all of a sudden they see that uh, you can come up with sensible answers, and they can all be found under the rule of law and under the Constitution, which saves a lot of money and restores a little bit of sanity to our budget, and I think people are just ready for a different answer. For Ron Paul, that different answer lies in reducing the size of the federal government. I personally would do it by cutting almost everything, but uh, that's not going to be politically feasible. So in the practical world, you have to find an area that there could be a consensus, and that's in foreign affairs. We're spending almost a trillion dollars a year maintaining our empire. We have to give up on our empire because it's going to go away anyway because when currencies are destroyed, they end, just as the Soviet system ended because their financial system, their economic system couldn't maintain it. So it's a choice of waiting for it to self-destruct or wising up and saying we were never meant to be an empire. It's not in the Constitution. It's not our purpose. We aren't the policemen. Bring our troops home and save three or four or five hundred billion dollars a year. This would restore confidence into the dollar, balance the budget, and then you can deal with the Federal Reserve as time goes on. I was wondering if you could tell me how you are a better candidate for the medical marijuana patients like myself. I would absolutely never use the federal government to enforce a law against anybody using marijuana. has a libertarian view on personal freedom. He believes most matters should be decided by individuals or at the state level, including abortion. Now, you, of course, have delivered many babies four times. How has that shaped your, your, your stand on this? Well, um, I think about abortion in terms of the political situation as well as the legal situation. As a physician, I know I have a legal responsibility. I can be sued if I mishandle uh, the unborn, you know, if I give the wrong medication. So it's a very legal entity, and uh, those legal rights are gained at conception. And uh, we've had a national law passed through Roe versus Wade, which has uh, literally legalized abortion in any trimester. And I see this as rather abhorrent. First, I don't think the federal government should have been involved. The states should be able to do this. So I want to repeal that and allow the states to deal with it. Ron Paul wants to reduce the role of government, so he is reluctant to add greater responsibilities in areas such as fighting global warming. I don't buy into the end of the world is coming because it's going to be warm and it was all our fault. But I think we contribute to it, and I think we should study it. Ron Paul's supporters have surprised many by boosting his campaign this far on their energy and attention to the issues. Foreign policy, um, freedom, Patriot Act, the way the, the government is stamping down the Constitution and basically shredding it, um, and he wants to restore our freedom. But this means the people of this country have to accept the idea of responsibility for themselves. By pointing to government as the problem, not the solution, Ron Paul has brought his view of the Constitution into a presidential race. At the very least, his ideas present Republican voters with a clear and very different choice. For New Hampshire Outlook, I'm Richard Aker. I think people are very unhappy, and uh, they've been listening to all the other candidates, but I think they're hearing the same old stuff, and they hear something different from me. Ron Paul would also like to eliminate the IRS and the income tax, though he acknowledges that could take some time. Yeah.